Hello out there, all you whiskey warriors. Welcome to Different Spirits, the channel where we give you foolproof, unshield filtered reviews, all your favorite whiskeys. I'm Scott. When I'm not doing rock climbing or working on my gaming setup or collecting vintage uh, fountain pens, I, I like to drink whiskey. So today we're going to review whiskey. Uh, but first, before I can do anything else, quick wrist check. I'm wearing my vintage high beat Hamilton. Uh, you know your boy likes to live that five beats per second lifestyle. That's right. Today we're going to do Gilcarran, which is from Glen Gile Distillery in Campbelltown, which is right next to Springbank. Springbank's the best distillery ever, so this is, you know, is going to be good. We're reviewing the 16-year-old. Uh, we, you know, the, the 12-year-old is a regular feature in this portfolio. If you like the content we're putting out, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We're also reviewing the Kilcarran 8-year-old from 2022, which was matured in a bourbon cask, and also the 2023, which was matured in a sherry cask, so we can have comparison of how Kilcarran behaves in different cask types. Normally, at this point, I would tell you about the technical details of Glen Goyle Distillery and its history, but I've been told by my consultants that, that we tend to lose viewers that way, so I'm going to ignore all that. We like to keep it real here on Different Spirits, so we're just going to talk about whiskey in the glass. Let's get some tasting notes. <sighs> on the nose, this is the Kilcarran. 16 year old, 46%, unshill filtered, no natural color. It's a very subtle nose, Whiskey Warriors. It's a subtle one, it's a quiet one. Getting some lemon, I'm getting some tropical fruit, a little uh, pineapple husk, key lime. Uh, sea breezes, a little seashore effect, hints of peat. This is not a peat monster. You have to go to Ardbeg for that. There's a little bit, a little bit of peat there, a little bit of a barnyard character. If you like our content, please uh, check us out on Instagram. Use hashtag Whiskey Warriors. A little bit of vanilla. The vast majority of this is probably bourbon cask. Uh, lamp oil. Some savory touches to this. Overall, though, it's, it's actually quite subtle and quiet. I like it. On the palate. Balanced, understated. This is not one you shoot back before you go for that maximum clean and jerk. This is not going to get you fired up. This is one to think about. This is one where you gotta you gotta put on your uh, your smoking jacket, put yourself in a dark place. That's the kind of whiskey this is. Kiwi. Key lime again, paraffin, lamp oil, uh, wet stones, seaside, certainly some vanilla. Uh, porridge, grainy touches. I will say, the more I have of this, the more I start to enjoy it and appreciate its understated nature. Do I feel on first contact this is better than the the, the Kill Karen 12, which is such a uh, a staple around our household? You know, when I'm 
when I'm uh, something I like to dip into after I'm done with a session of Olympic weightlifting and working on my BMW. No, I don't think this is necessarily better than the 12, but it's a fun alternative. That's what this is. See how it behaves with water? Give it a few drops. We'll come back to it. Why am I sudden, southern all of a sudden? I don't know. But we're going to roll with it. <laughs> Moving on. This is the Kilcarran 8 bourbon cask from 2022. Whiskey Warriors. 55.8% uh, alcohol by volume. So this is going to be a strong one. Let's buckle up. Also a little bit understated. I'm getting vanilla, but I'm also getting... Um, imagine you took a, an old uh, smoking jacket, tweed smoking jacket, took it outside in the rain, it got all soggy and wet, and you took it inside to dry. And that's kind of what it smells like, like soggy, old, smoky tweed. Pete is more obvious in this. It's barnyardy, slightly fudgy Pete. Lemon peel, key lime again. Um, cold cola candy, actually. It's very subtle. That porgy note is back again. A little bit hot on the nose, actually, as well. Not gonna lie, Whiskey Warriors. It's a little bit hot. But as someone who likes to take out my BMW to the track every weekend, I, I like it a little bit hot. Um, it's very nice. Reminds me a little bit of Kalila at its best. A little bit more strained, a little bit more barnyardy but it has that kind of citrus um citrus plus peat plus minerality character to it i'm not southern anymore i don't know i don't know what's happening <laughs> check us out on tiktok on the palette even more reminiscent of of Kalila, and that's okay because I really dig Kalila. Not as much as I love, love Springbank, but it's up there. Vanilla, Maritime Pete, a little barnyard in there too, though. That's good. Pretty darn clean on the palate. Um, kiwi showing up again. Why am I not posing? I should be posing right now. It should be better if I had a beard, maybe a cool baseball cap that said hashtag Whiskey Warriors on there. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it, it tastes like a, a bourbon cask, Kalila, that's a little bit dirtier. A little bit grungier. And you know what? My friends, I'm all here for it. I'm enjoying it. I'm curious to see what it does with the water. Let's give this a few squirts. We'll come back to it. And what I have not had before is a heavily sherried Kilcarran. So I'm very excited to try this one. Hashtag Team Sherry. This is the 2023 release. Sherry Cask Kilcarran 8. 57.5% alcohol. On the nose, let's nose it very seriously because we're serious here on different spirits. Hashtag Serious Whiskey. Actually very savory. This smells a little bit like uh, Kansas City style uh, uh, barbecue ribs. 
lots of sauce slathered on, but it's got that smoky, meaty note. But you're gonna you're gonna take some of that. You're gonna put a little bit of peat in there, and a little bit of like a, a oatmeal. And that's most of what this smells like. There's some orange in there, candied orange. Now I'm southern again. It's hard doing an accent. It's hard doing a voice that isn't your natural voice. Black pepper. Uh, and a little bit of key lime here as well. I think maybe that's a signature note on of, of Glenn Giles. Good nose, no hints of sulfur, which is something I've had difficulties with with in uh, in Campbelltown before. Even though Springbank is the best distillery on the palate, again more peaty than the sixteen. Um. Nicely balanced, quite meaty. Bring a little bit of that smoked, it's more like brisket this time. Good brisket. Manly brisket, because we're manly men here on different spirits, according to my demographics at least. Black pepper, uh, beef broth. Or candied orange, um, a little bit of Turkish delight. I don't like Turkish delight because it's it's too sweet for me. I don't like sweet things. Good long finish. Quite some minerality. That kind of maritime seaside kind of thing going on again. Well put together. Well done, Glen Guile. Let's add some water, see what happens. Three, four. We can edit this out, right? We can edit this out. Good. Okay. Put some music on. We'll put some music on. That's the correct amount of water, Whiskey Warriors. <clears throat> All right, let's go through these again. Be sure to check out our merchandise. We just added some new t-shirts to the web store. Click the link down below and hit the little bell button if you haven't already so you don't miss a minute of our whiskey content. Going back to the 16-year-old now. Lots of tropical fruit now. Um, pineapple, kiwi, but mixed in is a fair bit of uh, Russian caravan tea, the peat is almost, it's really receded now, it's, it's kind of hanging on the back. rich but I don't know I again I, I have not reported on the cast contents of this because we like to keep it real here we don't like to give technics no technics here on different spirits but <clears throat> it feels like there might be some sherry cask in here and that then coming out now with a little bit of water good nose this 16 year old seems to like water a lot I highly recommend adding a little bit of water, at least for the nose. Let's see what happens on the palate. For a 16-year-old whiskey, this is very fresh. Hashtag fresh whiskey. Hashtag tag <coughs> Glenn Guile Distillery. 
This is doing a number of my voice, sorry. Again, very light on its feet. Has more complexity than the, the standard 12 year old, but actually lacks a little bit of the weight. Um, it's very light on the palate for, for something of this age and for something bottled at 46%. Uh, but by contrast, feels a little bit light, but it's very delicate. It's very pleasant to drink, frankly. So even though I'm not going to score this <clears throat> incredibly high, again, lots of tropical fruit in the palate, black pepper, Russian caravan tea note again, that kind of wet tweed thing I mentioned. Even though it isn't bringing a whole lot of weight or, or presence on the palate, it's very drinkable. It's very uh, delicious. So I'm going to give this yeah, the more I have of this, the more I appreciate it. The more I appreciate its subtle, complex nature. Sometimes subtle is good, Whiskey Warriors. So we're going to give this a full 88 points. 88 points for the Kilcarran 16-year-old. Good little whiskey. Still not as good as Springbank, but good whiskey. Moving on. Back to the, the bourbon cask, 8-year-old. On the nose, this actually reminds me quite a bit of the uh, <coughs> unpeated Kalilas I've had in the past. They did a few releases a few years ago. Sorry, that's too nerdy. Can we edit that out? We'll take that out. It smells like uh, a lot of gravel, a little bit of peat, maritime touches, kiwi uh, orange and uh, some apple coming through. Almost some, some gummy worms notes now. Quite nice on the palate. Much grungier on the nose. Uh, on the on the palate than it is on the nose, Whiskey Warriors. Most definitely. This brings a terrific vanilla plus barnyard plus a little bit of heat character to it. It tasted like dirty Kalila before. Now it's more like dirty with a little bit of Kalila in it, if you know what I mean. I like this a lot. Good mouthfeel. Better mouthfeel than the 16, actually. Nice long finish. Good length in the mouth as well. Let me try the 16 again by comparison. on the palate than the 16 but lacking a little bit of the, of the complexity I think it come, it's a wash I would call this also an 88 point whiskey 88 points out of 100 good whiskey I like it let's move on to the, the last glass 2023 Sherry Kilcarran. Here we go. Sherry Cast are the best ones. Hashtag Sherry Bomb. Be sure to follow us on X. Uh, still smells like 
good St. Louis style barbecue. Burned. Maybe a little bit more briskety this time. Orange peel. Um, almost like old orange flavored pipe tobacco smoke, if that's a thing. I don't know if that's a thing, but if that was a thing, that's kind of what this smells like. Lots of black pepper. It's a little bit more candied with the addition of water, which is okay with me, even though I don't like sweet things. On the palate, also shows a, 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 a similar levels of, of weight and complexity to the to the bourbon cask one. Savory, very savory, bovril. Do y'all know what bovril bovril is? It's a bovril. Um, a lot of black pepper. Water gives a little bit more grip, not too much. Orange. <coughs> Smoked brisket. This is a darn good whiskey, folks. Something I would love to... To, uh, to have in my hand, uh, sipping while I'm browsing my, my favorite uh, favorite watches, brand new Oruses on uh, on the, on the the watch Reddit's. That's what I like to do in my spare time. It's a little bit rare here on different spirits, but it's it's. Uh, it had to happen once or twice. I'm going to give the same, the same score as the previous two. This is also an 88-point whiskey. 88 points for the Kilcarran 8 Sherry Cask. So all of these get 88, but in a different way. This 16 has the most complexity, but perhaps the least mouth presence. It's losing a little bit on the finish and on uh, the mouthfeel. Otherwise, it's very nice. It might be the most pleasant drink, the one I would reach for first. Bourbon cask. In a way, it's the simplest, but it also has the, maybe the biggest delicious fa deliciousness factor. I don't know if it's the one I would drink the most, but I definitely appreciate it. And all the sherry cask, I really like the nose on this one. I couldn't split these up if I tried. All of them get 88 points. I like them all. Seek these out if you're interested, Whiskey Warriors. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell and buy our merch and do all the things Thanks for watching uh, and supporting us here on Different Spirits. I'm your boy, Scott. Thanks for watching and cheers.